back to the Washington Convention Center, January 19th through 28th, as top auto manufacturers display their latest models. Get behind the wheel of your dreams. Explore the future of driving and experience the technology of tomorrow. It's fun for the whole family. From extensive displays, ride and drives, and special activities for the kids, too. Don't miss the Washington, D.C. Auto Show, January 19th through 28th. Visit WashingtonAutoShow.com for tickets and more. D.C. Auto Show, where the road to the future begins. I don't really feel like talking anymore. Listen, lady, we can do this downtown if you want. So bring me my friends and arrest me. And then I'll go downtown. It's Sunday morning on CBS. And here again is Lee Cowan. She's had some classic roles in movies like Basic Instinct, among others. Then, Sharon Stone suffered a near-fatal health issue. She had to reset both her career and her life. The results are now on display. There is a world where charcoal-colored snakes coil through clouds of pink and blue, where banyan trees hover almost translucent, where colors curve and nature unravels. A world of acrylic on canvas you might be surprised to learn, comes from the brush strokes of activist and actor Sharon Stone. Nature is almost like this free hand of God, if you will. Flowers, <laughs> tulips, <laughs> dandelions. <laughs> you know, you don't have to paint a dandelion exactly like that. You know what I mean? Paint what you want it to be. Yeah, it can be the feeling of the dandelion. She knows it's easy to be cynical about celebrities trying their hand in the art world. At 65, she's heard old whispers. Everybody feels like, well, because she's old. Yeah. Because she's old. And she's too old to be a sex symbol anymore. And she's too old to do that. So we can dismiss her into her painting thing. The reaction so far has been far from negative. Last year, Stone was invited to have a gallery show in Los Angeles. This is how I love the wind. Then came this show called Welcome to My Garden. It's currently on view at the C. Parker Gallery in Greenwich, Connecticut. You don't want people to ever really totally figure out a painting. The shows have excited both critics and collectors. Her works are now selling for tens of thousands of dollars. Now it's just a full on business. But kind of by accident, you didn't intend it to be. No, I didn't have any real intentions except just following my passion. Does it matter whether they're buying it because they love the work or because it's Sharon Stone, the actress? Does it matter to you? People come to see my art now first just because it's me. But I feel just fine about that because I've earned being me. But no, I'm totally comfortable if you want to buy my work because it matches your sofa. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I'm totally good with that. There's uh, no smoking in this building, Mr. Mel. No. What are you going to do? Charge me with smoking? When she hit it big in the 90s with movies like Basic Instinct, it was me. Mm -hmm. Pretty clear that there was more to Stone than just her books. It's nice. She proved she could hold her own against the likes of Gene Hackman for Western. You're not fast enough for me! Today I am. And there were a few chip sets. I don't feel anything from you. Like the one Stone threw in Casino. That role got her an Oscar nomination, but Stone says even back then, acting was only a small piece of her personal puzzle. I can't do that. Oh, yes, you can. Come on. I love you. Really... Everybody told me to stay in my lane. You know, and my lane started to just get so narrow. You were the best assignment I ever had. Really? I'm on it. I don't think I'm just an actress or a writer or a painter. I think I'm just an artist. Oh, I can hear the defense now. Your Honor, Detective Stabler sexually aroused my client to elicit a confession. He was raped and it's for you. 
The last time we met was back in 2018. Yeah, they smelled fantastic. Wow. And given the severity of the brain hemorrhage that she told us she suffered two decades ago, it's actually a miracle Stone's doing anything, let alone painting. There was about a 5% chance of me living. So it affected your speech? My speech, my hearing. Walking? Walking. Fast forward to 2020, during the pandemic, a friend of hers gave her a paint-by-numbers kit, and she found herself at an easel in her bedroom. She posted the result on Instagram. It actually looks like something which I find completely remarkable. I did the paint-by-numbers with a lot of diligence because I wanted to get my brush strokes together. To have the brush strokes perfect and flawless is a really painstaking, irritating, <laughs> complicated exercise. Really. Exercise. It, it really is a pain in the ass. But that posterior painting pain did awaken something very familiar. Stone has actually been painting for most of her life. She started as a young girl growing up in rural Pennsylvania, where her aunt taught her almost everything she knew. You were how old then when she was? Oh, was okay. I'll just show you a picture of her. She was really something. Oh, look at her. <laughs> right? Was there any piece of advice in terms of painting that you still call on? I think just that you're not wrong. There is no wrong. While attending Edinburgh University of Pennsylvania on a writing scholarship, Stone not only majored in art, but made art to support herself. I sold every painting I made. I mean, I was selling them for like 25 bucks when I was in college just to eat. So you really did live the life of a starving artist there for a while. Oh my God, yeah. I feel what's coming through the, the canvas here now. To watch her work all these years later. It's okay to not know. Yeah. You know, and it's also okay to go with not knowing is to watch someone in an almost trance-like state, open to whatever moves her. I'm letting it start to evolve and tell me what it wants to be. I think if you listen to the highest consciousness and follow that voice, how do you go wrong with that? So you gotta get out of your own way. way. Mm -hmm. All these paintings in a back room of her Beverly Hills home are getting ready to be shipped to Berlin where Stella will open her very first international show next month. She's certainly not done with acting, but for now at least, Sharon Stone has traded the red carpet for a palette with every color under the sun. I do it because I'm fully and wholly immersed in it, and I love it, and I, I have to. It's because I'd rather do it than anything else. And this... Is my CBS painting <laughs> made it just for you? <laughs> see you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on the Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we, five seconds. Oh no, we have three, two, one. Bye.